I'd like to introduce you to uh, Derek White from uh, Gibson Lewis Construction. Derek, please tell me about your background and responsibilities at Gibson Lewis. Uh, for the last 10 years, I've been a project superintendent at Gibson Lewis. We're union carpenters. We do mainly commercial work, hospitals, schools, university stuff around South Bend area. What is the current project you're responsible for, Derek? And what makes this job different or more challenging than most? This project we're doing right now is uh, it's a combination of two schools here in the Indiana area. We're in Elkhart, Indiana. They've got two fairly decent sized high schools that, that they're going to combine. So it's a remodel project built. Uh, uh, some of the areas are built from scratch and some are remodeled. Uh, just kind of a facelift type of thing. You're in the process of completing phase two of this project. You've used the quick install frame in both phase one and phase two. Tell me about your overall experience with the quick install product and the advantages you discovered, especially those related to the flexible scheduling benefits of the quick install process. So the project we're on now, it's got kind of a tight schedule. We've got, we've got nowhere else for these kids to go. They have to be in school on time. Quick install was brought up by our office as a potential to maybe expedite some of the tasks that we have to complete. So uh, old dog, new tricks, we were a little hesitant at first, but we were able to see the quick install uh, mock-up beforehand. It was revolutionary, really, in our mind. It's one of those things where we wish we'd have thought of it first. It's been able to help us expedite a lot of the tasks that, that happen from hanging sheetrock to finishing sheetrock to painting around it. So it's really expedited the project, but in fact, I don't know that we'd have been able to hit the deadline without it. Okay, Derek, what effect did installing the quick install frame after painting the walls have on scheduling flexibility? So if we were able to utilize um, all the time that we have. Basically, once we, once we frame a job, uh, typically we install a regular hollow metal welded frame. Those usually happen during framing, before framing, we try to hit that time frame. And what has to happen is we have to tuck sheetrock into it. The frame is, the frame is leveled, pinned to the floor, and then that's the last, the process till everything's framed, and then it's plumbed once we hang it up. So we're used to not being able to start another task until the frames are here biggest problems we're having in this day and age is it's hard to get frames so usually there's six weeks out um, it can be kind of a mess what we've been able to do now is actually hang sheetrock directly over framing before the frames are here it's almost like the ease of a knockdown but the durability of a welded frame and we've got the, the rating of a, of a regular welded frame So it helps expedite, it helped us expedite uh, many certain tasks, but it eliminated us having to tuck sheetrock inside of a frame. We were able to finish all of the openings without the frame installed. So finish, sand, and paint, all these tasks were completed without having to damage or interrupt any kind of other tasks that needed. So we were able to do all of that pre-paint the wall and then spray the frames separately. The frames have been installed over the wall. It eliminated a ton of hassle on install and maintenance wise and making sure that the, the pre-painted frame and wall isn't damaged. In your opinion, Derek, what impact does trade damage have on a project when the frames must be repaired or replaced? And in other projects, what percent of frames typically uh, experience trade damage, and how much trade damage have you had on the quick install frames you've installed? 
So any job we typically see damage. It can be it can be as minor as cosmetic paint damage. It can be as bad as small dents that occur from carts and material hitting it to damage so bad it needs complete replacement. Um, typically what we see is minor scuffs, scratches, things that can be repaired with Bondo or body filler, things along those lines. But in a lot of cases, if a frame is hit by a lift or very heavy material cards, it can require complete replacement. It's catastrophic. It requires sheetrock to be removed. You're back to square one. Uh, if framing wasn't damaged in, the, in some of the cases, it can be bad. So it's it the damage can be exponential. It's not entirely certain from one job to the next. You can have um, one job where you might not have any damage or very little to one where you, we've done a recent project here locally that we we had about every other door frame had some sort of damage to it. So it it can be kind of a kind of a hit or miss kind of a thing, but in a tight schedule where you don't have the luxury of getting another frame in time, it's absolutely crucial that uh, the other trades look out for it. We benefited here from being able to utilize lifts inside of rough openings that are just sheetrock and metal studs, things that we can readily get. Uh, we've been able to capitalize on those and expedite all of our tasks up to and install the frames late to make sure that we're not getting any damage. Derek, can you describe um, the challenge your team experienced involving wall thickness variations on older walls that were overcome by using the quick install frame system? We're standing right now at one of those openings. So let us know what happened here. So this building is, uh, it's an existing building, uh, approximately 50 years old. It's got some plaster walls. The, the building primarily is plaster throughout. Uh, it, the new layout of the building called for added door locations in certain walls that were never intended to have a door. So we've run into thicknesses varying in one wall from 3 8 to 5 8 in different consistencies. We've got all kinds of hiccups we've run into. Uh, we've been able to uh, work out to where the forgiveness allowed with a quick install frame has let us achieve um, a level of accuracy and uh, professionalism and in installing frames where we don't have to try and change different reveals with Shiva. This actual opening was, believe it or not, was almost a full inch different from one side to the other in thickness. So in something that would have been primarily a wood jam that would have had to have been ripped down to try and to accommodate the different wall types, we were able to modify the quick install uh, frame to have the trim frame ripped down and incorporate this, which would have been impossible for a regular hollow metal frame. Once the frame was installed, how much adjustment was needed to shim the hinges to achieve the desired reveal gap between the frame and the door? In our experience here at this project, we've had little to none. In fact, I think it might be as little as one or two frames out of the 50 or so that we've installed just in this last phase. Um, the best part about it is I'm literally having my guy who swings doors set the frame. So his attention to detail can be there. He doesn't have to worry about a lot of other trades, traffic, any of those things going through his door frame. He's, with the only damage we're seeing is basically cosmetic cords and things of that nature too, but so the reveals that we've been able to capitalize on and get installed, it's he, we're walking away from a completed finished frame that's been undamaged by other trades. Is there anything, Derek, you would like to add regarding how you can improve on future projects using the quick install frame system? Yeah, um, this half of this project is mostly remodel. We had existing wall conditions that we had no control over, so uh, we basically had to uh, pick apart a certain room and try and get as close as we could with wall sizes and get the frames according. Uh, just in this room, I've got four different frames that I can see just in this room. 
there are actually four different wall thicknesses, but the reveal is able to keep the same. Uh, in the room next to us, it's actually brand new framing that we were able to incorporate just standard stud and drywall thicknesses and achieve the same goal. So I've got as many as five different types of wall types all within sight. All my reveals are the same. They've been great to work with. We're looking forward to trying to utilize them in the future on projects where we have new construction, more potential for gains and labor pickups and no go backs in new construction. So we're gonna see what we can do. It'd be a lot more beneficial to have a job with a lot more frames out in front of it. We're really looking forward to what we can do with new construction as well as new models in the future. Okay, Derek, to wrap this up, what is Quick Install, the, the frame system, done to help balance your demand or level your demand for labor uh, for drywall and, and other finishing activities? So on a typical job, what we see is a spike in labor requirements once we need to get to sheetrock. Um, it requires more guys to apply sheetrock to a hollow metal for a typical hollow metal frame job because they're already welded, installed in place, and we have to be able to tuck sheetrock into them. So we see um, a big spike in our labor requirements once we get to sheetrock in general, and that's hang and finish. So once we get to a certain point, we have a requirement for additional manpower. What they've done is they've been able to keep us at a consistent level rather than see a huge spike. So we've been able to keep the same guys on the same project throughout and not see any huge dips or any huge requirements where we have to reach out for more personnel. So it's actually been beneficial from a standpoint of not having damage, not having go backs, and being able to keep a consistent crew size. Great. Thank you, Derek. Derek, I really appreciate your time today, and thanks for sharing your experience with the Quick Install Frame. Hope thanks. the project goes well, and I'm sure it's going to be on time. Thanks, Don. Okay.